I simply can't understand what could have happened to Brother Olivier. He was such a studious and religious boy. What's wrong, Father huh? Messiah? You must be very concerned. This is a highly unusual occurrence. I have never known a priest of the Vasaria order to call upon a dark elf such as myself. Um, well, you see, I... Actually, I want to ask you to bring Father Olivier back. Huh? He sort of left the order. Kinda. Huh? Are you trying to say that he quit? Father Olivier? But is it really possible that a priest can just quit the order whenever he wants? I don't think so. All right, I see then. This is gonna cost you quite dearly. Yeah, about this much, I'd say. Oh, uh, that's a little too much. How about something more like this? Eh? That won't even begin to cover my cost. Please forgive me, Father Messiah. I don't deserve to be a part of the Order. Wait just a moment, Olivier. Have you thought about what you plan to do after you leave here? I must ask why you're giving up on God. But I'm not giving up. I just need to find out. About the legend of Salsaroa. I must go to the island of G. Do you have any idea of what you speak, Brother Olivier? Going to the island of G. It is forbidden for us to even talk about such a thing. The legend of Salsaroa. In very ancient times, eight gods came upon this world. All three continents and the seven seas were controlled by the eight gods. And the gods were led by the supreme ruler called Salsaroa. It seems that the carefree days of happiness would last forever. Until one of the gods, called Gestalt, rose up and rebelled against Salsaroa. Gestalt challenged the armies of the gods and fought until he was suppressed. All of the lands and all of the seas were engulfed in utter and complete chaos for many centuries. The empire that Gestalt built with the sign of evil was located far to the south, where no one dared to venture. Even today, people are filled with fear when speaking of you. I'm sorry, my lord, Father Messiah, but I must go to the island of G and make sure. Well, good morning to you, Father. <gasps> oh, oh, yes, good morning. I hope you got enough sleep on that old bed. I've prepared a nice breakfast for you downstairs whenever you're ready. Ah, thank you very much. You were very kind to allow me to stay for the night. I don't wish to be a bother. It's no bother. It's such an honor to have a priest from the Vasaria order staying at our small and humble inn. I was thinking I might put a sign out front for everyone to see. No, please. I ran away from the order. Oh, Lord, is it a sin to keep such a secret? Father? Father? Uh, uh, yes? Please forgive me for being so bold, but is there any chance you might be able to do a miracle for us? Everybody in town is just hoping that you will. Sure. If doing that would please you, then I'd be happy to. My Lord, I hope that doing what people like isn't a bad thing. <laughs> Right then, may God be with each and every one of you good people. In the name of the Holy Father, with all of his mercy, virtue, and compassion, O oh wind, please carry my voice to the Lord. O oh Lord, I humbly ask you to show us a blessed miracle. Can I thank you enough for your kindness, Father? I hope it's of value to you. It's only flower blossoms, after all. Oh, no. I'll brag about this for the rest of my life. Why, it's the loveliest thing I've ever seen. If you'll excuse me, I must make preparations to resume my journey. Ah, oh, that's right. I left you a small token of appreciation in your room. Make sure you don't forget to take it with you. <sighs> oh, 
Oh Lord, please forgive me for flaunting my ability to perform miracles. Uh, excuse me, this must be the wrong room. Funny. Hello? <laughs> <sighs> Just as I thought, this is the right room. Oh, by the way, who are you? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you belong to me? <laughs> by the way, what's this? <laughs> Such an innocent, unfortunate girl. Oh, Father, I see you found your gift. Will you be leaving already? Madam, this is an absolute abomination. There's no way I could ever accept this young lady. Oh, my. Do you mean to say you don't like her? And I thought I had picked out the very best one of the whole lot. That is not the issue here at all. It's a token of my appreciation. Please, take her. <laughs> I can't. The trading of human beings as slaves is immoral, unethical, and, and it's wrong. <laughs> True? Of course, I don't know where she originally came from, but I do know she's only 18 and she's still a virgin. I checked her out myself. I'm sure she's quite delicious. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing. It's just a small gift, so my advice to you is that you shouldn't think about it too much and please just accept it. <sighs> Didn't I already tell you that I cannot? <laughs> well, if that's the way you feel, I guess there's really nothing else I can do. All right, come with me. <laughs> Behave and just come along now. Madam, just a moment, please. Tell me what you're going to do with her. Well, you know, she cost me quite a bit, so I'll just try to get the best price I can for her. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, shut up, you little no good Nick. Lord, please forgive my inability to stand up against the evil practice of slave trading. That's enough. Leave the girl alone. I've decided to accept your gift. Oh, wonderful. If you had accepted her in the first place, I wouldn't have had to be so rough on her. In the name of Prospero, I call upon you now to enact the promise of the storm of 12 years past. Ariel Lyne! There he is, in the quaint village of Barbaros. <laughs> Fly me to Barbaros as fast as you can so we don't lose Father Olivier! <laughs> All right, then. After we make it through the forest, we'll say our goodbyes. Please try to understand. It is important that nothing detains me, and unfortunately, I'm unable to permit you to accompany me to the place that I'm heading. May I ask where you're from? The south? From Dongai? Further south? From Daras? Or, or from Arama? Even further? If it's further south, you must be from the continent of spirits. Further than the continent of spirits? Gee. But that's impossible. Anyway, I'm very sorry, but you can't come with me. My journey will take me to the place known as G. I'm sure that you must understand how dangerous it would be, don't you? <laughs> don't you know that you must never, ever, ever say that name? You mustn't mention that name no matter what! There is a curse upon that name, and it affects anyone who utters it. I've seen many people whose lives were destroyed simply by saying what you just said right now. <sighs> oh. Right. G is the evil god who once betrayed Salsaroa. <clears throat> huh. I 
I've been looking for you, Father Olivier. You are Suzu. I'm so sorry for interrupting your journey. It's nothing personal, but Father Messiah really wants me to bring you back home no matter what. I won't go back. I must go to G. Nothing will stand in my way of completing my journey to the island of G. Don't you know that if a priest sets foot on the island of G, the order will lose its credibility? Even though I may have left the order, my faith in the Lord will be forever unshakable. <sighs> Father Messiah will never buy an excuse like that. <sighs> oh, well, if you insist, I guess we'll just have to do things my way. Although somehow, you know, I don't think you're going to like it too much. Hmm? Oh! Hey, who does this dummy think she is? As I already told you, there's no way I'm going back. She has nothing to do with my decision. Then you better stop acting like a selfish brat and come back to the order with me right now. Believe me, I don't want things to be this way, but you're leaving me no choice, Father Olivier. Fire! Wall! Oh, Lord, please give me a miracle of defense. Might as well give up now. You really have no chance against me because you can't cast defensive magic. Perhaps what Suzu says is correct. At this rate... <laughs> silence? Are you saying that you are a sorceress under the spell of silence? If you continue to resist, I'm afraid that you're not going to like what happens next. Oh, Queen of Magic upon the chariot! Yes, but I don't know if I'm able to do a dispelling chant. In the name of Tekra Grammaton, show me the power of the chain of life eternal. For the infinite mercy of the great Salsaroa, I pray for the release of this girl's true spirit. El I ask for a miracle that will dispel this girl. I told you so, but you'll never be able to stop those powerful restraining vines. I can't do it. I should have realized it was useless to try. <laughs> With the infinite mercy of the great Salsaroa, please hear my prayer for the release of this innocent young girl's true spirit. I ask you to please grant me a miracle that will remove her spell. Oh, Lord. already said he doesn't want to go back, so why don't you just go away and leave him alone? My master has embarked upon a quest and nobody, including you, will get in the way of his achieving it. So I suggest you buzz off, little Miss Dark Elf for hire, if you know what's good for you and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? On the other hand, stick around if you want, so I can pay you back for picking on me. Hear me, I come from a newly freed island in the south. Oh, great. The girl's a sorceress. I call to you, bow of life. I call to you, arrow of life. Fire Fill me with your power and give her something to remember. So, um, tell me who you are. I am known as Ori, my master. <laughs> this is a pretty lively town. I believe this is the place where King Bill Maul the Fourth's castle is located. Huh? What's going on? Yeah. 
Excuse us. He's done. He's done. Oh. What did he do? What could he have done? Not ripping my children. Oh, my. This looks bad. This is terrible. Oh, Lord. Hey, what'd the guy do that was so terrible? He tried to revolt against the king. He used to be the captain of the king's bodyguards. No one's ever been crucified before. The king must have been absolutely beside himself with anger. Yeah, there was an announcement that they are going to be holding a royal competition in the Grand Arena to pick the new captain of the guard. That's right. But what about the losers? They'll be eaten alive by a carrion crawler, each and every one of them. <sighs> you must let me see the king. I demand to find out why my brother was executed like that today. There's no way my brother would ever do anything against the king. There must be something behind all this. I'm going to find out what it is. Now get out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> who are you? What do you want? It doesn't matter who I am, but if I were you, I'd leave while I still can. No, oh, yeah? <laughs> Brother Olivier, please come back. You must not go to G. Father Messiah. Suzu, did you bring Olivier back? Oh, I guess not. I'm really sorry, Father. I would have been able to bring him back easy if it wasn't for this big weirdo sorceress that got in my way. A sorceress? Can you believe it? I finally caught up with Father Olivier and he was with this girl. She couldn't talk until he helped her get her voice back. And you know how sorcerers always claim where they come from before casting a spell? And she said she was from a newly freed island! A newly freed island? <laughs> I was going to try to follow him, but they must have been under a super strong blind shield. I couldn't even find him with my aerial eyes. You gotta help me, Father. I guess there's no other way. Lord Salsaroa, under your supreme guidance and mercy, please grant me a miracle of clairvoyance. Looks like a pretty big town. What do you think it is? The kingdom of Bilmol in Dangai. Suzu, Sir! bring Father Olivier back. Please, come back home, Olivier. No, Ori. I cannot allow you to do this. I know, but Master, we don't even have enough money for a place to stay tonight. It doesn't matter how hard things get. There's absolutely no reason compelling enough to sell one's body for money. Don't you remember how you felt at the inn when you were going to be sold? I believe that you cried then, didn't you? There's no way I can tolerate somebody else trying to sell my body, but I can do what I want with it. Anyway, I want you to know I'm doing this for you, Master. Then I must demand that you stop it. Okay, so what are we supposed to do for food, then? The reality of the situation is we won't get too far without something to eat every once in a while. Uh, we do need to eat, but even so... Okay. I think I'll go for that guy over there. At least he looks a little bit like you, Master. Wait, Ori! Hey, Mister, Mister! Do you want to buy me? I'm sure you won't regret it. Do I want to buy you? Unfortunately, I happen to be in a bit of a hurry right at the moment. Huh? Oh, you are... You're not alone? Hmm. Apparently you're able to see the real me, aren't you? <laughs> I beg your forgiveness if she said anything rude to you. The poor girl's mentally ill and not supposed to be out on the street. But sometimes she manages to run away. Come no! now, Ori, let's go. <laughs> Let me Enough go, already. Master. Hurry up. I was just about to be bought by this gentleman. Oh, I see. It looks like my master is getting a little bit jealous. <laughs> What are you talking about? Don't be ridiculous! Um, pardon me, sir. Huh? Excuse me, but are you by any chance a priest of the Vasaria order? Uh, actually, you see, I'm rather... Bingo! Not only is my master a priest of the order of Vasaria, but he's one of the best priests in the whole place. I mean, there's nobody better. Hey, hey, Ori. I had a feeling that you were. My name is Shazan. I live in this town and work here as the local fortune teller. Actually, I'd like to ask your advice about something if you don't. Huh? Raja! Raja, what happened? Are you all right? Ouch! Hey, could you be a little more gentle? For such a big guy, you're sort of a crybaby, aren't you? No, oh, shut up! Pain has nothing to do with one's body size! Oh, 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 oh! So then there's definitely something strange going on in this kingdom, isn't there? There's no doubt about that. It all started since the new queen arrived. 
It's true, the king has not appeared in public even once since the royal wedding ceremony to the queen. That's definitely pretty weird. To tell the truth, this is exactly the thing I wanted to ask you about, Father. Oh, go ahead and ask. My master can solve any problem you have for sure. Go ahead. Ori. According to my visions, when an evil shadow blankets the kingdom of Bilmol, a brilliant and pure light will come from the east and blow it away. I don't know what it means. Oh, I got it. The light must be my master. I know my brother would never revolt against the king. I'm asking you. Seek revenge for him. I understand. Tomorrow morning I will attempt to request an audience with the king and ask him for the truth. I only hope I will be permitted to meet directly with His Royal Highness. If you're worried about that, the king loves watching the tournaments in the arena more than anything. I'm pretty sure he won't miss the opening events tomorrow, so maybe you can speak to him there. Yes, that's true, but that's assuming that our king is still alive and well. A tournament? Is that by any chance the one where the losers get eaten by the carrion crawler? It's very strange. Even though Bill Mole has always been sort of a rough land, the king has never been so senselessly cruel. Life was basically peaceful here. And it's hard to believe he would crucify my brother, perhaps his most loyal servant of all. The game has already begun. My first opponent will probably be the one who comes from Barbaros, the nearest town to Bilmal. Lord Soshi, hmm? the queen respectfully requests your presence. <laughs> Did you call for me, my queen? You know I really prefer it when you call me by my first name and we're alone, Soshi. So what do you want? Soshi, do I have to wait forever or are you going to marry me soon, hmm? I can't do that, my queen. You're so cold, aren't you? I came to this continent only for the game and nothing else. That's all that matters now. You must promise me that. Handicap? The silence was supposed to be your handicap for the... Oh. For the game? Yes, I guess that's what they do when you're too strong. And what is the purpose of this game? To determine who's the strongest of our brothers and sisters in all the lands. And then what? To make sure that who's the strongest is really the strongest. <sighs> so what's the point of that then? And you, Master? Huh? I was wondering why you would want to go to G, even if it meant running away from your order. I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. Hmm. <laughs> You'll tell me about it sooner or later. Ori. Master, the truth is that I love you so much that that's the kind of relationship I want to have with you. A uh, relationship where we can discuss anything. Sorry. If you really feel sorry for me, the least you can do is give me another kiss. Uh huh? It's only because my powers have not fully recovered yet. If you give me another kiss, it will really help me get my powers back. I, I, I really don't think I know what you're talking about. I, I mean, you seem perfectly capable of taking care of Susu the Dark Elf before, didn't you? And that <laughs> wasn't even half of my full powers. Well, it, it certainly seemed like it was more than adequate. Oh, please, Master. Just a little kiss. Uh, wait just a second, Ori. Oh. Stop that. <laughs> It's so nice to see men fighting for their lives. It's exhilarating. Each warrior so desperately wants to avoid being fed to the carrion crawler. This is a true battle, isn't it? Soshi, don't you agree with me? My queen, if you want to know the truth, I don't personally feel that this is a true battle at this point. Although I do admit it's rather interesting to see them risking their lives. Oh yes, how brave they are. That's the one, the jerk who got in my way at the castle yesterday. Soshi. Ah, uh, yes. You were to start from Dungai, weren't you? Hmm? 
No! Please let me go! <laughs> this is where the fun finally begins. Bring out the carrion crawler! <laughs> this really ought to be a good show. No, no, please! Somebody help me! I don't want to die! What are these people doing? Is this really happening? Huh. This priest possesses the true blood of a saint, but at the same time, the scent of a ferocious beast surrounds him. I ask that you please stop this inhumane act of cruelty immediately! Uh, Master, wait! No, I beg you, please! Ah! Uh, 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 no, no, no! I don't want to die! Let me out of here! I'm begging you, let me go! Please! Yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh, let me go! No words for such an act. I am Olivier, a priest of Vasaria. I demand permission to speak with His Royal Highness, King Bilmal IV. I protest because such an unthinkably cruel display of inhumane punishment is intolerable. This tournament is an abomination. Silence! How dare you criticize the royal tournament? This is a blatant act of treason, and it will not go unpunished. Guards, seize those insolent rebels now! Yes, Your Majesty! This should be interesting. Go ahead and try if you think you can. But I just want you to know ahead of time that I'll never allow anybody to touch my master! Ori? That's Ori? Is it possible that girl is Ori? Hmm. Interesting. So then that is the handicap you received, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna make you regret you ever picked on me once and for all! Let's go!